Hey everybody, welcome in if this is your first video. Welcome back if it is not. Either way, I am so thankful that you're here and I'm so grateful you've decided to spend just a little bit of your day with me today. So today is another awesome video, of course, because like, why would I do it if it wasn't awesome? Duh. So today we have another Mickey loot box. So this is really exciting because we went months and months without a Mickey loot box and now this is the second one to show up within a week. So this is super exciting. So if you want to open this box with me, let's not waste any more time. I'm Rachel and this is Attainable Disney. If you watched my last Mickey loot video, you will know sort of where I'm at with Mickey loot. I'm not going to rehash the whole thing. I will just link the video up here for you. Long story short, they moved warehouses. It put a lot of their processes sort of on backlog. I don't know, like really slowed down what they were doing. And I went months and months without getting any of my boxes. Not ecstatic, right? I don't love it, but I started to get my boxes. So I've already gotten one, which is the video I linked. Please go watch it. This is the second one. Just like the last video, I don't know what box this is. <laughs> um, yeah, so I got an email from Mickey Loot that says your box has shipped and it gives you like a tracking number, but it doesn't really specify like what box it is. And then when I log into my Mickey Loot account, it shows all of the boxes that I'm owed just as like processing. Like it doesn't indicate that one of them has shipped. So frankly, your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> um, if you watched the last one, you know I got this Groot hat in it and I love it so much. So I decided to wear it in this video. So I cut the tape, but I haven't opened it. So here we go. This guy, I don't know if you guys, like I can't even really get it in the frame with my face. This is a big old box and it feels heavy. This thing says it weighs three pounds, four ounces. I believe it. So I opened it so you can see the purple tissue paper with the Mickey Loot sticker. Our spoiler sheet, which we're not gonna look at. And this amazing Snow White postcard. It says, Rachel, here are a few special things from the parks. Mickey loot. All signs point to this being my March box. Oh, thank God. You guys, we're back to the bags with the glitter. This is an air pocket bag with like rose gold glitter in it. So extra and like so unnecessary, but I love it so much. You guys, I had to turn off the air conditioner because it's so loud. So I had to turn it off while I'm filming. I'm so hot. <laughs> Okay, let's do this first because it's a weird shape, but I'm intrigued. Look at that. Shut up. Shut up. <gasps> you guys, I love the poison apple so much. I, I know I always talk about the poison apple. I just love it so much. This is like a little can't, right? So I'm gonna put a little candle in there and it's gonna be so creepy. If you see on the back, the just one bite is like, is like purple glitter. Is this a Barbie? Okay, I have no idea what this is. Oh my God, it's like Christmas. Holy moly, Mickey Rice Krispie Streets. So first of all, it says on here, shown smaller than actual size. When was the last time you ever saw that, right? Everything is always like enlarged to show texture and like make you think it's bigger than it is. These are smaller than actual size. These are the ones with the chocolate and the sprinkles. And there's four in here and they are fun to share. <gasps> We've got this little guy. I think this is the last item. Looks like a pin. Oh 
Holy cow. What? Artfully evil? What? Oh my God. You guys, so this is like, these are like actual like little like rope accents on the pin. What? This is incredible. So obviously Maleficent with her staff and Diablo, the green flames. Oh my God. So it says, you can see it says limited edition down there, but you know, it doesn't have like a number on the back or anything. So I don't know how many limited, but this is amazing. This um, is obviously intended to look like like a piece of art, like a like a painting, right? I mean, like you can see like the museum bench and like the whole thing. And like, that is exactly what it looks like. This is going to go perfect on my Sleeping Beauty pin board. Okay, spoiler sheet. What are you talking about Disney? Okay, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs Poison Apple Votive Candle Holder, 1999 listed as a park item. Disney Park Artfully Evil Maleficent Limited Edition Pin, 1999, park item. Disney Parks Mickey's Crisped Rice Cereal Treats, 14.99, marked as a park item. So the value of this box is 54.97. I paid $40 flat, including shipping. Very obviously worth it penny for penny, right? I think also there's like an additional level of worth in the sense that these are not items that I could really source on my own, right? Like these, I mean like the candle holder, like maybe, I feel like those, that were like a, like a knockoff, maybe like not like a Disney, Parks version of that. It's probably pretty readily available, but like that sort of like official one. The pin, I've never, I mean, I've never seen that pin before. Uh, you know, and that artfully evil line is is limited, and so I don't have access to that. And obviously, those treats, like I always buy the Rice Krispie treats. Like I always come home with a few of those dipped Rice Krispies treats or crisped rice treats. Um, and it's been so long since I've had one, so I am so excited. It says they are fun to share. Don't see myself sharing them. I don't tell like. I, you know, just like I said in the last video, I have never had a complaint about the product that Mickey Loot sends me. They knock it out of the park every, I mean, they knock it out of the park every single time. So, you know, I'm just really hopeful for them to kind of get caught up after this move and for things to move like a little smoother and a little faster um, so that like logistically I will be just as pleased. So if you want to try Mickey Lou, I'm going to leave a discount code in the description box. It's not my code. I don't make any money off it. It is a code that belongs to a fellow YouTuber by the name of Leslie through the looking glass. She is so sweet. I love her so much. I love her videos. She does Disney stuff. She does small shop stuff. She does like a mental health series, which I think is phenomenal. So she has a code with Mickey Loot. So I'm going to put that in here. So I mean like that just benefits you. Like you get $10 off if you use her code. I don't know how those codes work. So I, maybe she gets something. I mean, she probably does. I don't know. I don't get anything. So whatever. Um, so I'm going to leave that in case you guys want to try Mickey Loot, which I really think that you should be prepared for it to take a while to get to you, but like be prepared that once it gets to you, you're going to love it. I'm so pleased. Thank you guys for joining me. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Bye.